Hey y'all, welcome back to my modern homestead. My name is Janet. Welcome if you're new, I'm glad you're here. If you're not new, you know what's going on and I'll welcome you back. So I'm sitting here in the parking lot of the bank. Tomorrow is our closing day and I feel silly I'm sitting here talking. I hope nobody's watching. <laughs> but anyway, you guys were getting the money wired over to the lawyers and getting all the good stuff handled trying to shop for Christmas right in the middle of it online but y'all I'm so excited I'm so excited tomorrow we are moving in our closing has been pushed to the morning instead of the afternoon so we'll have all day to get our bids and Christmas stuff that that's all I'm wanting just my bids and Christmas stuff I'm so excited so I just thought I would start this video I probably won't get it out until after we move, but I wanted to bring y'all along because I promised you we would do this thing together and that's what we're doing. Okay, y'all, sorry. We are heading to our new home. We've just come back from the bank. I'm sorry it's wobbly, I'm by myself. I'm hauling a load. My husband is in front of me. Hope y'all can see him. He's got the U-Haul and we're going to do our walkthrough inspection before closing tomorrow morning. So we'll see you when we get there. Okay, y'all. We're home. One thing I have not told y'all yet. That's the house over there. <laughs> but I haven't told you. We have a cemetery. Still, this crazy mirror. They drive me nuts. I'm still not quite sure how I feel about living right beside a cemetery. But regardless of how I feel about it, <laughs> It's here. Now this is the back way into the property. And Bill is going this way because he's driving the U-Haul. We're probably going to unload the U-Haul. The people gave us permission to go ahead and do that tonight. So for that, I'm very thankful. Hold on, let me get through this gate. Um, so, yeah, we're excited about that. So we'll see what happens tonight. Actually, it looks like people are here still unloading the shop. So I'm not quite sure what's going on. We'll see when we get up here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what's happening. I think this is the homeowner in we know what it's like to be rushed out of a property. Well, not rushed, but you know, things happen. People need to get in for whatever reason. So we've told this man, you know, it's okay if he needs to leave some of his stuff. We won't bother it till he can get it out. Okay, y'all, let me give you a quick run through. That was Mr. Jerome, the current homeowner. He's so nice. But this is the laundry room. It's a nice big room. And then it, you have this little powder room that you walk through from the laundry room. And you can close it off with a door. And then I didn't realize when we moved in here that when you come in the back door here from the garage, there is actually a built-in desk. I thought it was just, um, you know, just a desk you could pick up and move out, but it's not. It's built-in. And then this is the breakfast area in the kitchen we're going to live with the house just the way it is for right now we're not going to make any changes just yet i want to get a feel for the way it is laid out but then that's the living room and this is actually the back door to the back porch i can show you more on another day when it's light 
But there's the entryway, nice big foyer. And this was the dining room right off of the kitchen. I hope my table will fit in there. I don't know about much other furniture, but I'm hoping the table at least. So let's come back through the foyer, you know, down the hallway, and one bedroom with a nice big double window. Nice closet. This neat little built-in. He took such great care of this home. It's amazing. And then this is the master. It has a really big closet. Bill and I are used to separate closets, so <laughs> it'll be an adjustment to get used to this one. So there's that closet. If we go back this way, this is the bathroom. I'll eventually do a little updating in here, but it's perfectly usable just the way it is. The only thing I'm super sad about is there's no tub. I like my soaking tub, so I don't know. There's a linen closet. We'll have to figure that one out later, too. So let's go back through and at the this end of the hall, here is the restroom. And we will eventually soon tile this to have a tile shower. But the space, you guys, it's amazing. <laughs> a little rough. It's been a long day. And then the last bedroom. Find the light switch. There we go. Tall ceilings and beautiful molding all throughout. Another big, nice closet. So we've just got to figure out which child is going into which room. So there's the house. I'll have to show you the outside better when we actually get moved in. This is right back at the back door. There is a garage. Mr. Drome even took great care of the floor. <laughs> it's got, it's hard to see my, I don't know if my camera's picking up or not. It's nice ceilings, nice lights. There you go. Thank you. Okay, thank you. You're welcome, sir. Well, for any pay-per-view live event or movie on directv.com. Today, again, sir, thank you so much for the time and effort. You do have a great day ahead and advance holidays to the both of you, okay? Ah, right for now, be safe. Go on. You're welcome. Okay, checking it here. We are moving into the house today. We've been unloading the U-Haul. Some of Jake's stuff in here. Melissa stuff. And the most important part, the Christmas tree. We are just sitting stuff until we can figure out where to put it later. And we had the most amazing real estate agent. He's no longer just an agent. He's a great friend. He's helping unload our U-Haul. Do you love me, honey? Oh, yes, I love you. Alyssa's wiping off stuff as we bring it, oh, sorry, as we bring it in. Awesome. 
We, this is the dining room. We think we're actually going to turn it into a pantry because, well, if you have followed along on this channel, you know, <laughs> I need a pantry. That's not where I told the guys to put that. Uh, anyway, we're getting there, y'all. Now, once we get the U-Haul unloaded, we still have to go to the storage buildings and load up stuff and bring it here. So, <sighs> wish us luck. Look, it's our Christmas tree. I'm so excited. Okay, you guys, I have not been able to do much recording. It has been crazy around here. Hold on, I gotta sneeze. We have been going since before the sun is up and not stopping till 10.30, 12.30, you name it, at night. So it's been nuts. We have got everything everywhere. Part of the hard thing with this move is that we're moving so far away, it takes a long time between loads. But first things first, we're going to get the U-Haul unloaded, go finish up at the rental house that's so far away, and get back home and I've got to wash clothes and then we're I've unpacked a few things I do have my Christmas tree up <laughs> nothing's on it but it's up the TV's up it's not hooked up we got the furniture set up last night so I'm excited to go ahead and get everything finished put where it belongs Get my sheets washed. We've been sleeping without sheets. Get towels washed. Help the kiddos get their rooms finished. So we're almost there, guys. Almost. I don't know if we'll finish by Christmas, but I don't even know if we'll have Christmas as far as we normally have Christmas. But at least we have a home. And for that, I am extremely grateful. So let's go see what the guys are up to. Now tomorrow, our kennel for the dogs are supposed to be is supposed to be moved. Poor babies, they've been having to sleep in their crates. I know that's not horrible. Lots of dogs do it, but our, our dogs are used to running and being able to move. Y'all, I've got such big dreams for that house right there. But I can guarantee you, I have gotten my walking in this morning. I've been toting pictures and whatnot from the U-Haul up here while the guys unload the shop stuff. And um, I had to get some pictures and stuff out of the way so they could do that. But he's going to pull the U-Haul back up here and unload the house stuff. He's not making me walk. I just had to get those things out of the way. And it's so beautiful out here. Why not walk? I wish this view showed up well on camera. It's so pretty. Hear how quiet. You can hear the wind coming before it gets here. Now, another thing that's making this move hard is that the man who is moving out of here is not done moving out of here. His shop inside there is completely full. So, my poor hubby, hi honey, hi. is having to put everything out here in the middle until we can get it moved into the shop. Another thing making this move hard is my son hollering David constantly. <laughs> Come on. You're in there so that if something falls, you can fall with it, I guess. Millie said she'll help. Come on, Millie. <laughs> Watch out, girl. Can't leave the coffee. He's hollering for it.
the dogs are so excited to finally get to run today. Before we unload the U-Haul, the all-important question, where are we putting the garden? Not only the garden, but the dog kennel, so we're checking all that out at this very moment. <laughs> oh no. Steven! See, if we had it here, like I was saying, you could go into the garage. You can either take the stuff into the kitchen directly, or you can go to the powder room and wash your hands, or without walking through the house, or... But around here, you're going to see the garden right here. Would it be better for the garden to be on the other side? Everybody loves to see a garden. You could see our other garden when we pulled up. Yeah, in the trees where they have some shade and sun. Okay. Okay. Look, y'all, I'm so excited. Look what I just found. Silverware! Now, if I could just find my pots, I could actually make some lunch today. Okay. Now... I'm out of breath. I found a box with my jewelry boxes. This jewelry box is in rough shape, but is near and dear to my heart. I guess it should have went to my sister, but I couldn't bear to not have it. This was my mother's. My sister, Debbie, got this for my um, mama when she went on a trip with her school to Washington when she was young. And I have such fond memories of constantly going through this jewelry, this jewelry box and playing with her jewelry. And not really playing, but just looking at it. And, oh, hold on. This move's been rough to move away from my mama. But I'm so happy to still have this jewelry box. So there's its spot since I've had it. That's where it's always been on my dresser. So I'm excited to see that it survived the move so well. So we're just going to keep going. This was also another precious gift to me. Oh, y'all. This wasn't supposed to be a crying morning. What in the world? When I was in high school, my boyfriend gave this to me for Christmas because he said that that little girl in the bed reminded him of me. And he caught such flack for that but it's always been precious to me i might have already told y'all this story last year but in april of that next year he was killed in a car wreck so this will always be special to me and it will always be out at christmas time all right y'all let's get some sheets washed <laughs> There is no storage in this laundry room anywhere, but I found some neat little racks. I don't know <laughs> where I'm going to put them yet, but we're going to make them work. They have the laundry baskets and some storage on top. So, for now, everything's just going to be in the floor and scattered from here to there. We'll get it all organized, but for now, I need to get the sheets washed because I have special credit. Critter? <laughs> Christmas bedding to go on the bed. So I need clean sheets. Oops.
have found this is all you need of scent beads. In fact, this is actually a little more than what I usually use. And I don't use this in my son's stuff. But in some of our stuff, I will usually put it <laughs> falling over stuff in here. And this is my Shackley Fresh Laundry. Oops, where is it? Love this stuff. Blurry, sorry. Two tablespoons. Ugh. All right, he said it was hooked up. Let's see what happens, kids. Ta da! Woo! I think it's working. I guess we'll know it's not working if water start, starts going everywhere. Alrighty, we finally, what is it, it's 2.07, about 10 minutes ago, we finished unloading the U-Haul. And yesterday when we went to the rental house, Alyssa went to Thomaston to spend the night with a friend. So we're going to drop the U-Haul off back in Butler. And then we're going to get her. And I gotta take Bill to get his truck because it's been in the shop, the great, not the very big, the big truck. And then we're going back to the rental and hopefully finish up there. So you guys, I'll see you when we get back tonight and then we'll probably end the video there this is an odd one I don't know how to end it <laughs> see you soon so we dropped off the U-Haul and we came back it was a, about a 30 minute drive back here to get his big truck from the shop because right before we moved his radiator tore up <laughs> they replaced it I don't know what's going on so we're just sitting and waiting we're trying to get back to the rental the children are already there to load Alyssa's car so we'll see what happens well I don't know if it was DEF fluid or if it was antifreeze, but anyway, he got it in there and we're going, so all is well. We just picked up the last load from the rental house. Woo, I do not ever have to come back. I'm so excited. Now, I do have to run to Thomaston and get a few presents, but I think I'm going to end the video here. But don't go anywhere because I have something fun and exciting to show you for the pantry, some ideas I've been working on. And I don't want you to miss those. But we'll be back. You guys, thank you so much for joining me. You know I love it when you come and spend a few minutes with me. So, until we meet again, may you be blessed. Love you. Mwah.